So you want to get laid, but you don't know how. One, you should probably talk to women. Or two, paint your fucking rifles. Looks sick. Now, there are a couple benefits to painted rifles. One, they look amazing. Two, you will get laid. And three, from a more tactical perspective, it breaks up the outline of gun. It's gonna be harder to identify that this is gun, especially when you're in wooded areas. Now as for colors, that's up to you. Go with what your environment entails. Here in Minnesota, we have a lot of woods. So green, brown, works great. Now if you're in some place like Arizona, or if you're more you know, Taliban-y, you might wanna go for something more desert themed. Go for, you know, a khaki or a Kodiak brown, you know, something along those lines. But all in all, it's your rifle. You decide what's best for it. As for credentials, well, I have none. I graduated from the same art school that old Adolf did. But can't deny that this rifle looks sexy as fuck. So you should listen to me. And you should subscribe for more videos. Now, if you're worried about fucking your rifles up, you shouldn't. If you are, you're probably a virgin. Everything works fine. Don't worry about it. Now, a little disclaimer. If you're worried about getting cancer because you're dealing with paint and shit, well, don't. But if you do, don't worry. It'll buff out or something. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. All right, so everything of utmost importance is taped off. Trigger's taped off, just so when you're pulling the trigger you don't feel fucking paint. Uh, butt stock, um, just because on rubber, the paint will peel off and it doesn't look great after that. It's just a personal preference thing. Taped off torque spec. The battery cover with all the, uh, the brightness dials. The zoom torque specs. Um, the rotation, so, you know, when you're zeroing. The rotation arrows. I did the line for um, leveling off the scope. And then I did yeah, that fucking the the cyst, the cyst. So now it's ready to paint. I'll stick a mag in there, paint that as well. So I'll get to that. All right. So there's no crazy fucking degreaser prep stage. I just wiped it down with a, a fucking towel to get all the, the gun oil and stuff off. So for paint, doing matte black, enamel, rust-oleum, got rust-oleum camo, flat earth brown, and the flat deep forest green. So I'll start with the green, and I'll show you what it looks like after the first coat. All right, so just got done spraying it down. Just kind of did a thin layer to cover everything. It's not perfect, but it'll do. So then I'll let it dry a little bit so it's tacky, and then I'll flick, flip it over and do the other, the same thing on the other side. Um, yeah. Fuck, I thought I had to say something. But just make sure, like, you have your glass covered up, your bolt all covered up, a mag in so you don't get paint in the mag well. Yeah, there's not much to it. It's fucking simple, just a dirty job, and look pretty sick all right so here's the next side <clears throat> gonna do a quick and dirty spray down of it
yeah, I mean, touch up some spots here and there, but that's basically it with the green. It's looking pretty decent and it'll flatten out once it dries. Yeah, that looks sick. So, I'm gonna leave you to watch paint dry. I'm gonna go jerk off. You can join me, but it kind of depends on how much you like watching paint dry. So we back. All right, well, less than five minutes later, we got a gun that is relatively dry and good enough for the second coat which is Flat Earth Brown Stripes. This would be pretty sick. Just fucking go anywhere and do a stripe. Fucking do another one right here. Why not? You know, it's so easy that my 80-year-old grandma with Parkinson's could do it. So no reason why your guns aren't painted. Do a little one on the handle too. Uh, that's fine. Doesn't need to be pretty. All right, so that will dry a little bit and we'll go on to the next step. All right, now that this is pretty good enough, I will move on to the next stage, which is a little bit of black on this mesh, get a cool pattern. Just lay it right over top, spray wherever you want, pull it off, and it'll look sexy as fuck. All right, now that that's done, let it dry, and then we'll go to the next stage, which is actually muting this black a little bit. Because it will mute a little bit while drying, but still a little much. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so now to mute it. So you can see it dried a little bit. Black takes fucking forever. But as it dries, it mutes a tad. But to mute it even more, I'm gonna take a little bit of green, a little bit of brown. Just do a light dusting. It's good enough for the guys we date. Um, so I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit more and then I'll flip it over and copy the same exact thing. All right, now that both sides are done, I'm just gonna let it sit for another couple hours. So let it dry completely before I bring it inside and touch it. Um, but yeah, that, that's about the gist of it. I'll take all the tape off eventually and yeah. I think it looks pretty decent. All right, so here I am about 14 hours later. I brought it inside after about one, took it off, took the tape off after a couple hours. And now it's still a little tacky. It'll be a little tacky for a couple days, but it's nothing bad. It won't get on your hands. As I say with, you know, dirty hands, but this is what it looks like. battery covers off because I am trying to paint a chrome SIG logo. Get that all muted. Um, but yeah, th this is what it looks like. Everything is functionally sound. You know, safety, trigger. It's good. She's good. You want to see more videos with amazing production quality, such as this one, you should go ahead and drop your mom's phone number down in the comments below. Thank you. But, and, uh, mm -hmm. now as for colors, 